Hello, good day everyone. Uh, this is Professor Roger Flores of the Department of Electrical Engineering. Uh, the professor of this subject, uh, EE30, Electrical Engineering Utilities. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, Chapter 1 and this is entitled uh, Electricity Theory. No? So here we are going to discuss the brief history of uh, the electricity and uh, how electricity is produced and other theories that uh, involve the uh, production of electricity. So uh, to start with, uh, we have... Okay, so let's proceed to units of electricity. Okay, so first we have the voltage. The voltage uh, driving force uh, behind the current flow from the resultant of uh, electricity. Okay, so we have that uh, figure here. Okay, yeah, the, uh, we have the voltage will tend to move the piston to let this fluid uh, uh, move. And this uh, fluid, water or liquid here, is uh, synonymous to current. So, yun po ang pressure na uh, to let this uh, water or electron flow is the voltage. Yun po. Okay, from the results of difference in charges creating electrical pressure which move the current in one direction, the unit for voltage is known as volt. Okay, so unit ng volt, uh, voltage is volt. Okay, so current. So most of the time, we have that uh, letter I. No, This is the measure in the rate of current flowing in a closed electrical uh, system where the unit is called ampere and or it is called amp no so the unit of the current flow or the electron flow is uh, current and the unit is ampere okay so it was just uh, using uh, we, 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 uh, we just use the uh, family name of Andre ampere okay we have also this uh, resistance of course the symbol resistance is R it is the ability of a conductor to resist current flow where the unit used is ohm okay pag maliliit yung uh, pag uh, maliliit yung uh, lagusan natin then that means that more resistance mangyayari dito pag malaki yung resistance maliit lang yung flow or ng tubig or ng electricity or ng electron na mag-flow dito sa loob okay so least resistance lang pag malaki yung conductor natin yan po ibig sabihin dyan so uh, we uh, discussed a while ago about or we talked about Ohm's law a while ago so we have this one that the current is uh, directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance or uh, voltage is equal to I times R okay so we have that uh, formula where E is or uh, V is the voltage I is equal to the current ampere unit and you have our resistance are then our unit is in ohms okay so they are inversely proportional voltage and current is directly proportional voltage and uh, resistance is directly proportional okay so meaning voltage is equal to i times r okay so uh, talking about power the rate at which work is accomplished no so work when there is work then there is an energy then we have that power okay so that uh, energy released divided by time so when we say power if you're going to multiply that power to time then that is energy so power therefore is the energy divided by time okay so the unit of power is in what that is according to or follow uh, using the family name of james watt who are able to produce uh, a steam turbine or a steam uh, a turbine or uh, a material that is used to produce steam now so we have this conversion factor of uh, watts to horsepower okay so we have that one horsepower is equal to 746 watts and one watt is equal to 3.413 uh, btu uh, per hour and a 1 kilowatt is 1000 watt of course 1 megawatt is a 1 million watt okay so uh, that is 
uh, power. So, on a direct current circuit, voltage and current uh, are related to wattage through the DC power equation known as the Joule's law. Okay, so what is the what is uh, power? It is just the product of the voltage and the current, or just simply equal to E times I. Okay, so let's take this uh, example here. So, uh, a lamp of uh, a lamp is designed for use of 120 volts and has a current draw of 0.5 amperes. Draw the or determine the power uh, consumed. Okay, so power consumed by this uh, lamp. Yun po ginagamit doon sa 120 volts and it will uh, draw or gumamit ng 0.5 amperes. So, this is just the product. The power now is our unknown. Okay, so it is just now the product of the voltage and the current. So, we have that 120 volts times 0.5 uh, amperes. So, it is more or less, power is more or less equal to 60 watts. Okay, so energy. Energy is... Uh, caused by moving electric charges called electrons. Pag, uh, if these uh, charges, if these electrons uh, flow, so meaning to say that there is a transfer of this electron from one point to another point. Now, because of this transferring of electrons, we have this uh, energy consumed. Okay? There is work. Okay? So, later on, we will just specify what is work. No? It is, uh, it is the energy consumed in the transfer of one electron to one from one point of electrons to one point to another point. So uh, work will be done if there is the uh, distance between. Uh, we have two distance, uh, two points, and there is a distance between these two. No, uh, for the transfer of these uh, electrons. Okay, so that is energy. So, the energy is uh, in what hours may be determined with the following expression. So, your energy is equal to the product of P times T or P is equal to e, e, the voltage over time. So, it could be represented by this one where your uh, E is equal to P times T, your, your P is equal to E over T or your T is equal to E over P. Okay, so that is the representation of the energy. Okay. Okay, class, uh, I think uh, that ends our uh, discussion here. Uh, this chapter one. Uh, and uh, I hope that you learn many things with this chapter one, the introductory portion of uh, electricity, our subject, the theory of electricity here. So... Uh, uh, thank you very much and uh, if you think that you learn many things then uh, try to uh, uh, subscribe my youtube channel uh, so that if I have new uh, video that we will uh, upload or upload it then you will be notified uh, subscribe click the, no the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I have new a uh, video that will be uploaded okay thank you very much god bless good day to everyone